Today, we will be in Memphis, Tennessee, where sadly horrific crimes are on the rise, just like in a lot of other cities around America. Just when you think you have heard it all, you realize that people are crashing out over more and more trivial things, throwing their whole life away. Well, the incident I'm about to tell you about is exactly what one person did, crashing out over nothing. A situation so minute that it will not even cross most people's minds to do. However, for one young woman, she literally let her thirst for a small amount of change and hunger to possibly lead her to spend the rest of her life behind bars, never to see the light of day again. For one mother in Memphis, her life was forever altered when she saw a video of her daughter go across the news. This video was not a positive story, but sadly, it was a story of a male who lost his life at the hands of an unknown woman who was not aware that she was caught red-handed on video surveillance. Shantae Jones, the mother of the alleged woman, was left completely shattered as she watched the child she brought into this world being nationally accused of a heinous act. What Shantae did next had to be one of the hardest yet commendable things any mother could do, turning her own daughter over for unaliving another person. What 26-year-old Kenyatta Hayes is accused of doing is not only shocking, but it is unbelievable. She allegedly took the life of a man that she agreed to have relations with and then robbed him for a very small amount of money. However, no one foresaw Kenyatta committing a crime like that. She wasn't in this world alone with no guidance or family. She had a home, a mother who cared for her, and family who loved her. Growing up in her teenage years, Kenyatta attended Hillcrest High School in Memphis from 2012 to 2016 and graduated with her high school diploma. From what I gathered after high school, she was a material handler at Technicolor, then went on to work for 1-800-Flowers doing general labor. From there, at some point, Kenyatta also worked for the Follett Corporation doing temporary projects. So, why did she end up allegedly taking the life of another person? Well, according to Kenyatta, she was thirsty for money and planned to hit a lick. The tragedy took place on May 6, 2024, after Kenyatta and an unnamed male were both at a marathon gas station. According to Kenyatta, the male offered her $60 for a personal encounter, and she agreed. The two allegedly headed to a park in the area so that Kenyatta could do what she agreed to do, but instead, she allegedly shot the man and robbed him and left him unalive at that park. After the tragedy took place that same day around 7.45 a.m., officers will respond to a man down call in the 2900 block of Fillmore Avenue. When authorities arrived, they located a male victim who had been shot and was unresponsive. He was pronounced unalive on the scene. However, the authorities were able to release a possible suspect to the news because allegedly that suspect was caught on the camera fleeing the location. After the news broke across the city of Memphis, this is when Kenyatta's mother, Shantae, realized the person of interest was in fact her daughter and called authorities and said she would be bringing her in to turn herself in. I read it too often. Cause I don't want nobody to come through this losing nobody or somebody taking a life. I never did that. I never had that. A Memphis woman turned on her television to see her daughter was wanted in connection with a So what does that mother do? She took her daughter to the police station to turn her in. And tonight, 26-year-old Kenyatta Hayes is facing first-degree After Kenyatta arrived at the station and was interrogated, she allegedly confessed to detectives that she did it for $60 and was thirsty for money. After detectives asked her what she did with the $60, she said that she bought two wing combo meals, one for her and another for her boyfriend, and had $13 left over. This really is mind-boggling and wild, to say the least. However, Shantae believes there is more to the story. Even though she made her daughter turn herself in, she believes that she was not the trigger man. After a local Memphis News interview, Shantae seems to believe that maybe the boyfriend did the shooting and thinks that Kenyatta is scared of him. If this is the case, I hope that she tells the truth and not cover for him, because this is not love and he cares nothing about her to let her lose her life forever, possibly. Now, someone might ask, if that is the case, then why was he not seen on the video surveillance? Only thing I can think is maybe he ran a different way than her. Whatever the case is, it's downright sad and awful that someone took a person's life to get some chicken wings. 
There is no value for other people, and the criminals don't seem to realize that they don't value themselves either when they do a horrific thing like this. Ms. Hayes, you are charged with first degree carrying your life sentence. Kenyatta Hayes is dressed in orange as she appears in front of Judge Ronald Lou Casey. According to court records, Kenyatta Hayes told police she met the victim at a marathon gas station and agreed to be with him for $60. However, according to Hayes, she never planned on keeping her end of the bargain. According to the affidavit, she used the $60 to get two hot wing combos for her and her boyfriend and had $13 left. I'm so blind set today. People are going to hire you a lawyer. Just remove your mask so they can Oh, you're so hard. There is just no way to justify this happening. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think the boyfriend pulled the trigger and she is covering for him? My heartfelt condolences goes out to the male victim who lost his life and prayers to his family in this mournful time. So please don't forget to comment your thoughts and prayers for this family in their difficult time and hit that like button and share to make your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.